Hello my friends, welcome again. In this video we are going to work with the properties in LiveWire. I have opened the application we worked before and we have the class of the component and the template of the component and we have the welcome page we put it here. Okay. And for now we just make it pass it here hello from live wire component but for the for this video I want I want to work with properties and bind that data binding and here is for the example inside the live wire gravel live wire .com, inside the documentation you have this explain here how to work with properties and I'm just going to copy it here and inside the class pass it here and I'm just going to remove this and not message but the title and if I display here the title for example sorry title save uh, refresh title I don't save this yeah I refresh now hello world and I want to work with the data bandit so I'm just going to pass the input here and type it's going to be text and in the live wire if you work with the uh, have work with the view is similar if I go to the data binding we bind the data with a wire model in view you put the V model in live wire you put this wire model so if inside that wire sorry wire model and add the model we want to bind in this case is the title add the parameter title uh, and if I save and go here refresh okay we have hello world because in the class we are associated with hello world just hello save go here refresh we have on the hello and if I make a world here yeah we updated uh, if I inspect the element and go inside the network if I go here and add remove it okay we have an eject request and this is how his work is going to send a request to this lab wire message and hello world is the is the component okay and it's going to return all the HTML so this is H1 is going to re render all the HTML for us uh, if I you look here for every not for every key but because if if I type it very quick it's not going to not happen for every key but maybe it's going to happen quickly so sorry uh, if I, so, yeah we can change if we want inside the wire model we put the the bones and for example 
milliseconds save refresh and I look half 1500 milliseconds is going to make a change now I want to add some more properties here so public property is going to be body and for me, this is now for now is now uh, another one for sorry another one for um, to make a boolean boolean uh, active for example and by default it's going to be false another one for a drop down select I'm going to add country and by default it's going to be UK save this and here input now input for both I'm going to add te text area and wire model we pass the property body okay another one for the for boolean input type checkbox and wire model is going to be uh, active another one for select drop down and wire model is going to be the country and option UK another one US another one uh, save this and now uh, I, before I'm going to go there, I want to display all of here to display the body. Here the, the country. and I'm going to make a check if if we if it's active so I'm going to display is active and and if and save go here refresh okay we have the hello this is the if we go here and title here uh, body going to be here is active is going to be here and sorry and uh, here I'm going to add a country and save and if I go here and refresh 
title here with hello bot in a sync and countries UK and if I type something hello UK we make a hello UK here that so if I add something inside the body this is body okay now we have this is body and if I change the drop down to US we have US EU we have the EU now and if I check this checkbox we have this is active now it's not active okay uh, this is the video how we can buy data in the live wire hope you enjoy it please like and subscribe to my channel thank you very much see you in the next video